Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about what are different operators available in R Programming Language. So you can see in front of you, I've already have opened up the R Studio in which these are some of the operators I have classified arithmetic, relational, logical, assignment. So let's see how we can make use of it. Uh, it's quite simple. Uh, we can do one thing like we can just uh, create two vectors. On these two vectors, we can test these operators, right? So let's get started. So let's suppose we got x available as a one vector in which I've got some, uh, some simple numbers available. In the same way, I got y available, right? And in this case also, I got some numbers available. Let's suppose it's four, five, and six, right? So I got two vectors created with the combined function. And let's now make use of these little operations. So I can make use of maybe a regular print operation in which x plus y means regular addition. Same way we can use minus subtraction, right? And we can use this uh, multiplication, right? And, and so on, right? Next is division. I can use division, right? And then we have this two, which we already have discussed in the last video as well. One, one is called as a modulo division, one is integer division. Modulo division means it will just return the uh, your remainder. Uh, we can use double percentage sign. It will just give you the remainder. One will give you the quotient. So here I'm using integer division, which is percentage forward slash percentage. I got this, this thing available, right? You can see it here. I got zero, zero, zero. All right. So these are nothing but the integer division. At last, we have our exponent available, like a power uh, x raised to power y we can use. And I got 132, 729 I got. So this is all about the arithmetic operators. Next, we have a relational operators. It's again very, very much same. I can use now maybe a greater than sign just to compare false, 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 uh, because uh, it will be returning the answer in the case of Boolean value. In the same way, we got less than be returning all true then we have equivalent greater than equivalent so this is all about the uh, relational operators then we have negation available right we can use negation here uh, exclamation sign equal to right it is true 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 is it okay so this is all about the relational operators then we have logical operators in logical operators one thing you have to remember like uh, we are having two type of logical operators one is the shorter notation one is longest notation you can see it here i'm having this ampersand single we i'm also having the ampersand double as well you can see it here what's the meaning of these two uh, always remember the uh, double and operator will always be returning the logical vector of length one and but the single one will always go for the element wise uh, like uh, operation what it means let let's uh, first i make you see it here then it will be more clear let's suppose i got uh, same x and y available x and y okay so uh, let's apply simple and here okay again i'm using here print simple and it will be returning uh, the answer element wise it means if we got three elements i'll be getting three answers but on other hand this uh, double one it will be just returning the vector of length one okay so always remember uh, the when we have double uh, double ampersand or double uh, this vertical bars which is called or although both are called logical and these two both are the logical and difference is uh, the single uh, ampersand uh, which always give you the element wise result but the double will give you the result of uh, length one it will just be st uh, like start working from left to right and it will be giving it just be comparing the first element only so uh, that's why i got the answer true here only single element right you can ignore this warning you can, i'm getting the answers here true in the same way if i'm going for the uh, single here i'm using here uh, maybe single vertical bar which is my logical or it will be again returning answer element wise that's why i got three trues right so but if i'm going for the double here it will be returning single again answer it because it will be just be comparing the first element only and it will be starting from left to right to make it more clear what i can do uh, i'm just taking now uh, in the form of uh, true and false right then it will be more clear so i'm using here true false i got two elements in this case and i'm uh, same way we got this another vector available in which i got false and false Okay, so I got these two vectors available. So if I'm going for the simple one, let's suppose I'm going for Z and Q. 
queue okay it will be returning what it will be just returning the answer element wise it means i'll be expecting two answers true false will be false 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 will be false as expected but if i'm going for the double ampersand it will just be comparing the first element so answer will be only false right in the same way if i'm going for the uh, single logical or it will be returning uh, answer element wise and uh, again if i'm going for the double it means it will be returning the just a single element this is all about the logical at last we have assignment operators again assignment operators can be uh, used like in a, any way i've already have explained in of one of my video as well how to assign the things we can simply assign with this uh, greater or less than sign then this uh, hyphen right i can just assign that in the same way i can also assign maybe with the help of equal to okay it's okay it's all all good again i can also assign with this uh, another symbol available which is uh, nothing but the uh, uh, double uh, less than and then we have this six so still wait uh, maybe i can go for maybe j okay so in this way again i got this six assigned here okay so j means six all right in the same way if you want to use the other way you can now define the things uh, left side let's suppose i got this uh, some vector available okay in which i'm having three elements available and i'm i'm now uh, want to assign this right to uh, some of the things so i can also use this one operator as well uh, this one and i'm giving to the maybe r1 right it is also fine right you can see it here 577 got returned right i hope you must have understood about the operators uh, for remaining content i'll be uh, coming up with the new video thanks for watch watching guys see you next video